day. I got it, thanks. <laughs> Time right now for JS on air. Today, something TMJ4 and the Journal Sentinel are both working on. Construction will begin in June on a new office building in downtown Milwaukee. It will be at the former Pabst Brewery site. We're joined by Tom Dakin from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. So, Tom, tell us more about this. Well, the office building is going to be just west of where the new hotel is going to be opening in April. And the idea is to target lawyers and other professionals that want to be near the Milwaukee County Courthouse. Uh, the developer is a fund out of Chicago that's made up of foreign investors. And uh, incidentally, I did find out later today after we first broke the story about the office building that that same group of investors plans to create some apartments for, uh, for international university students at the former Pabst Bottling House. So it's actually two significant developments being pursued by that group. And this is going in a, uh, a part of downtown, is it downtown Milwaukee? I mean, this is the, the old Pabst oh, indeed, campus yes, there. Yes. It's, it's on the north end, but we still consider that part of downtown? Uh, I, I think most people would consider Paps to be, yeah, on the far northwestern corner of downtown. And, and Tom, how many jobs are we talking about here uh, with this whole process? Uh, well, we don't know yet because they haven't named any of the tenants. Uh, the uh, head of the group uh, tells me that he's negotiating some leases right now with some anchor tenants for the office building. Uh, the jobs, I suspect, will probably be in the probably the low hundreds. I, I think the more significant part of it is this is really the continued redevelopment of the 20 acre plus Paps Brewery site, which, goodness, 10 years ago, I don't know anybody foresaw these types of developments occurring there. We now have uh, an extended stay hotel, office buildings, uh, the Zilber School of Public Health for UWM, senior apartments, apartments for families, uh, apartments for international students, assuming this other project goes through, and it's really starting to pick up there. All right. Tom Dakin with the Journal Sentinel. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. And you can read more about it at jsonline.com. We have a link on our website, todaystmj4.com.